So we're occupying this land here to the uh, southeast of um, Junction 21 of the M6, up on the border of Warrington and Salford. Uh, and we're occupying this land in a protest against uh, fracking. A lot of the main reasons that we're here is because of the um, environmental impacts of fracking. Uh, the fracking fluid that they use is a mixture of water and sand uh, mixed with 53 said different types of chemicals. Um, now, uh, these chemicals have been known to be radioactive and carcinogenic. If radioactive chemicals get into the Mersey, which has been for a long time trying to regenerate, it's just got salmon and otters in it again after many years without, um, this fracking fluid is going to get into the Mersey if they frack here without a doubt because just last week we had some floods and the floods came over and flooded the fracking site. So even with a well cased well, that's still going to let radioactive chemicals into the River Mersey. When we've arrived at this camp, we've put up a Section 6 notice, um, which is under the European Human Rights Act. Uh, we are entitled to be here because we are the permanent residents of this land. Um, that makes it a private residence until otherwise proven in court. It's hard to say how long we're going to be here for, really, because it could be taken to court tomorrow and we could be evicted the day after. Um, thus far, we've been here 10 months now. Um, and the possibilities are endless. We could be here for another 10 years. We could be here for another 10 minutes. <laughs> yeah, well, this camp's been here for about 10 months. Um, everything that we've built with uh, is reclaimed material, stuff that's been thrown away. All the cladding to this shack, for example. This particular piece is old um, whiskey barrels and it's uh, been taken apart if it's been used as whiskey barrels, attached to some laminate, sanded down, we've not done this, it's come like this. Um, but that was being thrown away, and this stuff's charged at £300 a square metre. It's just thrown away, absolute madness. Um, so, you know, we've, we've got all these little cabins, and now that it's come to winter, most of them have got um, wood burners in them. We prefer not to burn wood. Um, but, you know, as it stands, we don't have any other way of, of keeping warm. Um, so, unfortunately, that's how it has to be for now. Uh, this shack, for example, was um, a shed in somebody's garden that they'd taken down, didn't want anymore, and that was a donation. Um, if you look around the side of this cabin, the cladding on the side, we've got old tabletops from pubs, and these, again, as uh, pubs have got new tabletops in, they've thrown these out and um, we've reclaimed them and built a home from them. The cabin behind me here, um, we've made as a place for ourselves to live. Uh, now, everything that we've made it from is recycled materials. Everything you see was being thrown away. Um, old telegraph poles hold the main structure up, they were being thrown away. Double glazing windows, they were being thrown away. And all the cladding on the outside, which is um, laminate hardwood flooring, which has been uh, discarded for whatever reason. Uh, that's all been thrown away. The sink, absolutely everything in there, the carpet, the floorboards, uh, the bricks, everything all recycled materials. Our main objective really in, in being here is providing a physical presence which is a deterrent um, to the fracking companies. And to those people who say we need to get proper jobs, uh, I would say we have got a proper job and that's protecting this environment um, and your drinking water. Uh, if fracking does go ahead, there will be environmental disaster. It's been shown in America, uh, in Texas and in California and it's been shown in Australia in the outback. Um, it decimates the land, it poisons the drinking water. Um, so we consider our job is protecting this land, whereas people are turning a blind eye to it or more so being misinformed. We're here with the knowledge um, and we're, we're going to stop fracking.